Hi there, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'll show you how to crochet this mug cozy, which has an attached bottom section on it to serve as a built-in coaster. The loop and button allows this cozy to fit most standard coffee and tea mugs. I'm using about 50 yards of worsted weight yarn and a size H crochet hook. My mug is a little over 3 inches wide and 4 inches in height. Most fibers like cotton, wool, and acrylic work nicely with this. To begin, make a slip knot on your hook and then chain two. Skip the first chain and in that second chain from the hook, we're going to make six single crochet stitches. Because this is the bottom of the coffee mug, we don't really need to make a magic ring to hide the starting space, but feel free to make one if you prefer that method instead. We'll end round one with a slip stitch and begin round two with a chain one. On this round, we'll make two single crochet stitches in each stitch around. And since we had six single crochet stitches on round one, for round two, we'll end up with 12 single crochet stitches on this round once completed. Once you've made your 12 single crochet stitches for round two, slip stitch to the first stitch, then begin round three with a chain one. For this round, we start with one single crochet in the first stitch, and then in the next stitch, we make two single crochet stitches, then repeat. One single crochet in the next stitch. Then in the next stitch, we make two single crochet stitches all in that same stitch. Once completed, slip stitch to the first stitch to complete the round. For round four, we'll begin with the chain one. The pattern on this round starts with a single crochet in the first stitch, then a single crochet in the next stitch, then two single crochet stitches all in the next stitch. And repeat. One single crochet stitch, followed by another single crochet stitch, followed by two single crochet stitches, all in the next stitch. You'll have 24 stitches on that round. For round five, we'll follow a similar pattern as before, except this time we'll make one single crochet stitch in each of the next three stitches. And then we'll follow that with the two single crochet stitches all in the next stitch. That will give us 30 stitches. For round six, we'll do pretty much the same as before, except this time we make one single crochet in each of the next four stitches, and then we'll follow that, as before, with two single crochet stitches all in the next stitch. This will give us a grand total of 36 stitches on this round once completed. At this point, it helps to take out your coffee mug and see if this fits the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be relatively close to the edge. If not, add or subtract some of these single crochet rounds. Now we're going to move on to working in back and forth rows for the sides. So we chain one and on this first row, we're going to work 36 single crochet stitches, except this time only use the back loops. This will help add some structure to the bottom and sides of the cozy. Since we're working in rows and not rounds, we do not slip stitch. Instead, we chain one and make one single crochet stitch in each stitch around, using both loops from now on. When we get to the end of this row, we make our chain one, turn, and then make another set of 36 single crochet stitches. You'll continue making back and forth single crochet stitches for a total of 15 rows for this side section. You can see my 15 rows here, and I changed colors on the top, but you don't have to on yours. It's a good idea to measure with your mug at this time to see if everything fits correctly, and add or subtract rows as needed. Before we trim our yarn, we're going to make a chain loop for our button. On mine, I used 22 chain stitches. However, you might need a different number to fit yours. And I like to slip stitch into both the last stitch's front loop as well as the side loop to secure this button loop. You'll weave in and trim all ends. Plus, you'll sew on a button to the front. You can see how the sides and bottom of the mug are covered nicely with this cozy. That's how I crochet a cozy for my coffee mugs.